Mr. Maria, Ed, how you doing? Good. Good to see you. Congratulations, by the way, on getting to the uh, Super Bowl. Thank you. Um, first question. What are your thoughts about reaching the Super Bowl? This is what, your fourth year for you? I think um, I just think I started in January of 2008, late point, like six or seven. Okay. Uh, and I, I, it's just a dream. It's a dream for me. It's one of my goals, really. I love playing with Andrew Football as a kid. And this opportunity is a, is a great opportunity for me. Understood. Understood. Um, what made this season different than past seasons where you executed, did well? Um, in the past, you fell short in the playoffs, getting to the Super Bowl. Would you say it's better talent or just not repeating the mistakes of the past? I think, you know, just by playing for my fifth or sixth year, I learned a lot from my mistakes. I've also been in some change in my first year. Um, I've learned how to play better defense. I got really great, great base talent. But I think I'm making the necessary adjustments. For example, the Cruz uh, figures out the receiver to try to hold up the receiver from the bench. And actually, I think I did it in June and worked really well. Um, it's just a little high on my foundation. Um, but what's really critical, too, is that this year we have a brand new stadium. And I think with that new stadium, we have a new field. So we were talking about the movie and so forth. And what was going to happen when my receivers get open, which are moving to my field, or stay to my field. And at this point right now, my field worked out great for my bigger size field. And everything worked out great for me. So, and I got some good breaks too. You always need breaks. That's great. Um, tell me about, what is it about the NFL that excites you? You've been around, you've traveled, you've been to some tournaments, seen other league play. What is it about the NFL that you like? It's just like, it's like seeing the, uh, the coaches every week as a camaraderie, really. It's really the fun that we had. Of course, you'll always have this room. You know, uh, we flip a coin, we disagree. But it's really just to see the guys every weekend. It's a fellowship, and um, it can just, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, if you learn, if you take the time to really learn how to play the game the right way and so forth, you can have uh, great results. But really, A, it's really the, the people that are involved. The whole idea is to have fun. And if you're not having fun, then you shouldn't have I'd say 15 and 1, that's a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> What, what, if any, changes, not specifically rules, but what changes would you like to see uh, that in, in this league, the NFL? Um, right now, there's no group that comes to my mind. And as long as they don't limit any pacing, make any changes to the uh, stationary quarterback option, I think I'm okay with that. Um, but maybe potentially, maybe the weight limit potentially could be adjusted slightly. Uh, because of the new ITC bases, uh, actually they're actually later. But if there's certain figures that are a little heavier, maybe the weight limit can be brought up a little bit. Um, and maybe there are things on special teams that the defense. Uh, the way it is right now with the ball set, the, uh, the kicking team is allowed to pivot to make a tackle like seven seconds. Maybe right before that, the receiving team can make some jumping. There's an open season, I think, for changes. There's an open period. Right, exactly. Um, next question. Um, what can you tell me about your game preparation? How much time did you spend just getting ready for today's game? Okay. Well, I can tell you that after I won the championship game against Jamie, it was a great game, great game to Jamie, great coach. Uh, I took a week off. I rested everything. I just relaxed. Really easy. But this week we got back down and dirty. Uh, I brought the field out about three times. I practiced my guys. Make sure I, I got them running the way way I wanted them to run. And initially, actually, believe it or not, my, my quarterback was very rusty, and I was missing a lot of passes in the, the pregame in uh, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I made an adjustment. I figured out what I was doing with ball, and um, I got my confidence back, my pacing game. Um, so to answer your question, I, I brought the field out about three times. I brought the practice. I made, I made some adjustments on defense. I brought a couple guys in, so I'm ready to play this one. So on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, this is for the new guys out here. What would you rate the importance of actually practicing and preparation away from league events? Well, how important is that to your game? It's a 10. It's a I 10. Mean, it's a 10. There's no, there's, there's Some no guys think they can get by without practice. No, no not really. Unless you're a really great coach, you want your to playoffs. But to get to the next level, you really have to prep your team. You have to know your players. You know, and I know you do that. The coaches that don't do that are Tremendous disadvantage. It's a great answer. Thanks, baby. Um, talk to me a little bit about your plans for the off season. Have you done some golf? Uh, 
relaxing, spend time with the wife, and then a little bit further yet for next year in the hobby. What are your plans? Any travel plans? Yeah, exactly. Well, actually today, we booked the uh, Shore House at Ocean City, New Jersey. And actually today, I was actually, it was the first day, we could have been here at 10 o'clock today. My wife understood, and um, we're going to be going down tomorrow morning, first thing. So this one next week, if I could get this win, it would mean a lot, and I could kind of like, you know, enjoy it for the whole week. Um, and as far as my planes down the line, you know, I like to golf. I'm a big golfer, so I like to be out there. And I like to actually invite the, uh, some of the NFL coaches. I know you talked about that. Potentially myself, Paul Rizzo, Bill Brower. Hey, so yeah, golf team. Maybe two, four, four, six, yeah. Maybe they can hit me halfway for the Maryland guys. But, um, and then, you know, back to work. I'm working, you know, thank God I got a nice, I got a good job. And I just thank you for that. Excellent. Very last question. I see you've got some of your friends here today. Uh, Renee Smitty Smith from uh, down the Maryland area showed up. Uh, you've got some people here to represent you and to cheer for you. I know that Myron Evans brought you in five or six years ago. But if you were to win this game today and you were to dedicate this trophy after saving the win yourself, who would you dedicate the trophy to? Probably Renee Smith. Really? Yeah, because uh, you, if you saw the website, he's part of our, um, our general management group. He's part of right. his vice president yeah. of operations. Um, so it could probably be Renee. There's also a lot of other guys, too. And, you know, if I get to that point, if it does come to that point, you know, I'll give them the answer to that point. Super. Mm -hmm. Great answer. Thanks for your time. Right. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.